to rebuild the MBS Wave 200. Items required. Safety. Always lock out power source and follow recommended safety procedures. Remove the plexiglass window to turn off the air in the MBS drive take-up unit. Locate the valve and move the lever to the off position. Remove the finger guards. Loosen the clamping plates and turn them out of position. Remove the M5 hex bolt and connector between the bearing rail joints. Lift and remove the bearing rails. Please note the bearing rails must be reinstalled in the same orientation and position. Using your finger, disconnect the O-rings from the wheel brackets. Here's a close-up view of the roller end assembly. This will be used in the next several steps. Remove the keeper plates. Lift the wheel bracket assembly until it is free from the roller plate. Remove the white plastic washer on each end. Remove the roller with a hook tool by pushing in the axle on the wheel bracket. Shown is a paint line hook. A variety of hook tools could be used, even a heavy S hook. Remove the roller and plastic hex bushing from the bearing bracket. Please note the bushing flange orientation and position. If replacing the wheel assembly bracket, Remove the two screws that hold the wheel bracket in place. Install the new wheel assembly bracket and fasten with the same two screws. Reinstall the roller into the wheel assembly bracket. Use a putty knife to slide the axle in place. Optional, a 7 16 inch offset or modified wrench may be used to help with the hex bushing installation. Use fingers or optional wrench to place the plastic bushing into the bearing. Make sure the hex axles are seated properly with points up into the roller plate. Lift up the assembly bracket and install the plastic washers on each end of the axle. Attach the O-rings from the roller to the wheel using your finger. Roll the roller until the O-ring snaps in place. Reinstall keeper plates. Carefully screw each keeper plate down evenly. 
Do not over tighten. Use a torque wrench to tighten the screws to 15 inch pounds. Reinstall the bearing rails and their connectors. Note, the bearing rails should be installed in the same orientation and position that they were removed. Installation of the connecting spacers requires an alignment tool, part number 1113691. Place top plate of rail alignment tool between guide covering bearings at the joint. Do not over tighten alignment tool clamp plates on the rails, as this may crush and permanently damage the rails. Turn the clamping plates into position and tighten. Remove the alignment tools. Reinstall the finger guards. Turn on the air in the MBS drive take-up unit and attach the plexiglass window. For more MHS conveyor videos, please visit mhs-conveyor.com.